one because if you turn on the TV or the internet, it's all about violence. Project-based leadership training, this idea that uh, Gary is now executing as a part of his, uh, of his apprenticeship as a master teacher under myself and the master teachers at the 100, this is part of his work for his next rank, for his fourth on, and part of his life's work, and it's what he's passionate about, so it works out perfectly. He's quantifying uh, projects. Tell us about that. Well, this is, this is my project, and, and you know, I, I teach the students to take on a project while well, I'm showing them first that this is my project, and I'm going to you know, explore it fully. Right? Now, the idea, the way, the way that we quantify that is through Projabi, uh, you're building a project portfolio. And, and all the cards that you can see behind us is another example of a project portfolio. Each one of these cards represents a project uh, that a student has done. In our school locally here, we've done 215 projects. And so I have cards for each of those projects to be able to show um, you know, inquisiting uh, parents, or anybody who's asking about uh, the, the, the program and what it is that we do, well, here, let me show you, and we can pull off the cards and read about them, you can see in the back. So here was a project that one student took, uh, Zach Stowe, how, how old is he? He was uh, nine when he did this project. Nine-year-old project, he had a goal of making a hundred stuff, getting a hundred stuffed animals to give out to kids at the children's hospital, and he got to 120, and so it says when it was started, it, it describes the program, tells it when it was finished. This belongs to that young man and represents, you know, what he was uh, working on. And that, my friends, right there, stop what you're doing, put down your cell phone, uh, cancel your, you know, your tickets to the next event, and pay attention to what's going on because this could revolutionize your school, your work, your, the, how you make a living, what you sell. You know, it redesigns the role of the master teacher and the martial arts school in today's world. This isn't light stuff, and we don't have a lot of expense involved in getting involved in these projects. And you know what I'm going to teach you to do, some of you anyway, is to take something that you care about and are passionate about and turn it into something this powerful and important, because each of you have your own areas of specialty and, and excellence and things that you're interested in, just the same way Gary's doing it with his students. Gary, I did most of the talking, but that's yeah, not that's a surprise. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the audience before we finish? Uh, all I can say is that uh, this project, uh, about six years ago, we had a conversation uh, that sparked uh, all, this, all of this behind us, all these projects, everything we're talking about with Prajabi. And uh, you know, I put six years into it and, and plenty of time and money and effort and everything else. And, and I think they were just on the tip of the iceberg of being able to develop the idea and turn it into what it could be. Um, and, and there's been several times over the last few years where you know hit walls, you know, hit struggles and whatever, and it's easy to give up on it. But I think that that's part of the process, just like earning a black belt. And I, I kind of feel like uh, any project that, that you were getting involved in, uh, whether you know a project like this or whether it's anger management or you know uh, bullying or whatever it is, dive into it fully, to do the research on it. We've got plenty of research backing all the ideas and everything else, and uh, you know just plan on spending the next five or ten years in developing the idea and, and really giving it a, a full goal. You know, wait, wait, wait. Our industry is not built on a five or six year program. I want 30000 I want to double my gross next month. Right, right. I want $900,000 like the guy I heard about in whatever city he's in who got it in one year only coming in two hours a week. You know, I mean, you have to plant the seeds. If you want to really be a master and affect your community and the world in a profound way, you've got to stop paying attention to this... Uh, this garbage, uh, this marketing garbage that is all about fast turnaround because they're just trying to sell you something. You have, if you want to be a black belt, my friend, you have to invest the time and the practice. I can give you a black belt, I can give you the certificate, but you're not really a black belt. You've got to learn how to do this process. And uh, you can learn by uh, making one of your projects, learning about this, and, and being a catalyst for uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of projects in your own community. And when you do that, you can say, Mrs. Johnson, what I do for a living looks like this. You know, the kicking and punching and the grappling. But this is what I really do for a living. I teach people to take their martial arts out of the dojo and into the world. That's it. So this is my, I guess I was interviewing myself. But, you know, I'm Tom Callos. So you can reach me at TomCallos.com. And your website? It's GaryEngels.com or Prajabi.com. We're excited. We're passionate. We're hardworking. We're committed honest. Okay, talk to you again soon.